please stop using this wrong. My name's Greg, you're watching How to Play Paintball. Okay, so this is a video uh, I, I decided to, to redo just because one, the last time I did this was literally five years ago, which is kind of nuts that I've been doing this for so long, but uh, it's how to actually use a, a swap. Uh, so my personal choice and the choice of a lot of pro players are the Exalt Barrel Made. Um, there's a reason why a lot of companies actually go ahead and just ask Exalt, hey, can you just make us a, a custom version? So it'll say, you know, like GI or, you know, MacDev actually had one for a little bit. Um, so companies are asking them to, to go and make these for a reason because they are literally the best swab. They're pretty much indestructible. It's worth the money. But something I see a lot of people do is they are using this wrong. And uh, I am going to have a giveaway. It's not going to be one of these. It's actually a new product from them, uh, from Exalt. So make sure that you stay tuned all the way through so you can see how to enter. But uh, a lot of people use these wrong. And for those that don't know, I actually used to be the warehouse manager over at Exalt. So it's one of these things that when I see people use it wrong, I'm like, oh my gosh, why, why, why? So this is kind of a, a public service announcement. Uh, so let's go over the actual swab itself. So a lot of times uh, swabs are just gonna have this fuzzy end. This is kind of the generic way of having a pod, I'm sorry, a, a swab. Uh, you break paint, you put this in there, it kind of soaks up the paint, kind of wipes it out. The thing that makes the Exalt Barrel Made really, really good is this thing called the Rocket Disc. So let me make sure I can get this in, in focus here. So with the Rocket Disc, the thing that's really good about it is when you actually put this into your barrel, this piece gets pulled back. So you're not pushing paint into your breech. So that gets pulled back like that. When you actually pull this out of the barrel, what it's doing is extending out or expanding out that disc to basically make it into a squeegee. So why is it that this is here? Um, this is to actually help with buffing out any remaining pieces that might be in there of, of paint. But you wanna use this part first. And what I see a lot of people do is they take off their whole barrel and then put this swab through and that defeats the purpose of this design. The whole point of this design is that way you can push it all the way in. Uh, you don't wanna jam it into your, into your gun, but when you put that uh, rocket disc into your barrel, uh, you're going to go pretty much all the way into the barrel and then when you go to pull it out What it does is there's a little bit of friction and again that rocket disc is going to expand and squeegee out the paint So also guys, uh, so don't worry. This is all degas. There's no paint in here uh, Guns not on. I just wanted to show you all of this But if you like this custom stuff hit up RC custom products, I'll put their uh, Their their website down here so that way you can hit them up They have a lot of custom stuff that they can do 3d printing Whole bunch of stuff. So uh, I'll also put the code down here to get you a little bit of a discount. But let's say that I went and I, you know, blew up paint my gun, um, and I have uh, my my swab with me. Again, you're putting this part in first, so that way it pushes in. I kind of go until I feel it. It'll kind of touch the ball that's in the breech. So that way I'm getting as much out as possible from the uh, from the the broken paint depending on where the ball broke. It might've only broke in this part of the barrel here, uh, but I wouldn't know that. If I'm in mid game, I don't wanna take my barrel off and look down and see, okay, I only need to put the swab in this far. That's not gonna be good. If I'm mid game, I wanna get this clean as fast as possible and get back to, uh, to playing, uh, especially if it's an important point of the match. So again, you're pushing the swab almost down completely into the breach. I, I go until I feel that ball um, there. And then when you pull it out, I actually still had some in there, so you can still see. Apparently, I needed to clean some stuff. Uh, but you can see that it swabs out whatever gunk is in there. Then, if you have time, this is going to do a pretty good job. That's when you're going to use this end to go in and kind of use it as like a buff. Uh, so that way you can clean out whatever else might be inside there. Okay, so speaking of Exalt, uh, Exalt was nice enough actually to send out their new fillable cover. Now, what makes this better than other fill nipple covers? One, it's not metal. It's not going to be grinding up against the fill nipple or you know anything like that, bumping up against things. So I'm not sure the exact makeup of it, but it kind of feels rubbery, kind of like silicone. Um, so that way it's going to uh, flex, but it's also not going to scratch anything. What I really like with this is that it wraps around the reg here, and then uh, it's not going to get in the way when you actually go to fill up, but it easily 
just clips back over there. And uh, it actually kind of, I don't know if you'll be able to hear this. See if I can get it here. Hopefully you can hear it kind of click a little bit there. I just realized that now. Uh, so that means that it's holding on to the fill nipple. So it's not going to be uh, moving around. But why would you want to have this? Well, if you play like here in Florida, uh, sugar sand can be an issue. Or if there's, you know, just kind of dirt and grime and all that, you don't want to fill up and then that grime and everything get pushed into the tank. And then that's going to start running through, you know, you could have issues with the actual reg or if it somehow gets pushed into here. I know that a lot of uh, markers now have uh, filters. Like I know MacDev has a filter. Um, so that way it's going to help with the air not carrying debris through there. But why even have the risk? Like just just use something like this and you're able to uh, uh, to go ahead and, and not worry about it. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm able to just pop it out, fill it up real quick, put it back on, and then I'm good to go. It's also softer. That's something that they uh, had, had mentioned. So if you don't have the option, like we use our powerhouse regs, which are awesome. You guys should definitely use them. But um, uh, what I like to do is have the fill nipple pointing down. Some people, if it, they prefer it to stick out, regardless of whatever way you put it, this isn't going to be jamming into your wrist. So if it does push into there, it's soft. It's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be painful. So the way that you're going to go ahead and enter, one, make sure that you like and that you are subscribed to the channel. You need to make sure that you do that first. The other thing is in the comment section down below, I want you to put in, do you prefer in a layout having a aggressive or defensive type of field? Tell me why. Why is it that you would want to have defensive versus aggressive or aggressive versus defensive? Uh, everyone has preferences. So put those down in the comments down below and uh, then go ahead and email me. I'll put my email down here and just email me your screen name. So that way when I go through, I do like a randomizer. It's just easier for me to email me, email you to, uh, to, to send that. I might send some other goodies with this, but thank you so much to Exalt for, uh, for providing um, just a really cool product. But uh, make sure that you follow those directions and I will put around here somewhere when it is that I'll be doing the actual giveaway. So I'll contact you on that date. Uh, so thank you so much to everyone that's been a support since day one, or maybe you just started watching on this video. So I will see you all in the next one. But as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.